Hello everyone, and welcome to Drake Makes. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. AI is black magic, proper voodoo, serious whiz -biz. Yeah, yeah, it's just a bunch of algorithms, but this is quickly getting out of hand. Today I'm going to take you through my process with Stable Diffusion and ESR GAN to create amazing, high-quality, artificial intelligence-generated art. Stable Diffusion has gone open source. I hadn't even heard of this AI, considering all the rave around Dolly 2 and Midjourney. But with Stable Diffusion, I can actually run the generations on my own GPU. Do it! Do it! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! So I went to download the model, but soon I started to see terrifying words like scripting and Python and conda environments. But then fortunately I found this video, which directed me to a simple GUI setup for Stable Diffusion, which I've linked in the description. So how do we do it? I start here. This is a great website, which used teapots as examples for style reference for the different AI image generation models that are currently out there. As you can see, using the same prompt, the website demonstrates how different keywords are interpreted by the AI. While some of the lists are incomplete, the tool still works great as your digital spell book of commands to guide your image into something you want. When it comes to coming up with ideas, the blank canvas feeling is nearly insurmountable with this generator. So we're just going to create some of the first things that come to mind following some different styles. The process here is as simple as you'd expect. You just type in whatever your imagination holds into the text box and hit render. Now there are a couple parameters you can adjust down at the bottom there to tweak your results and get variations, but here as we click render you'll see it starts running the iterations as it loads up the model, and within seconds we have our image. Unguided, the pieces can be hit or miss, so it's really a roll of the dice every time you hit generate. However, by adjusting your wording and being more specific, you can change your results. This is where I reference the Teapot website, which clues me into good words for directing my image. Furthermore, the AI will recognize specific artists' styles and attempt to emulate them, which can be useful and powerful when looking for a more refined look. In this video, I make use of the art styles of Peter Moorbacher and Raymond Swantland, two amazing portrait artists. You can also get variations by adjusting the amount of steps, sample references, and seed of your image. This allows you to get different images from the same prompt. It's pretty easy to get lost in doing this. I ended up getting stuck here for about 15 minutes. Here are some highlights from that little session. Just like that, an instant art collection. But there is an issue. Even with my fairly beefy GPU, I can only render images at a maximum size of 512 by 512, meaning resolution is never going to be super crisp. But there is another AI for that. Is it an enhancement program? Let's enhance this. I enhance the detail and... Enhance section A6. I think there's enough to enhance. Release it to my screen. Edgar, can you enhance this? Hang on. Enter ESR GAN, or Ezer GAN, is, that's the name of the model. I've linked the GitHub in the description as well. This AI upscales images using more straight up sorcery. Once you've downloaded and extracted the executable, you'll have a folder that looks something like this. Drag your desired image in there and give it a simple name, like input. And now we open the command console. Don't be afraid, by the end of this you're going to feel like Hackerman if you've never coded before. First, you have to copy the address of the folder where your input is. Punch in CD, and then the folder location. If you're on a separate drive, switch it over like so. Now back on the GitHub site, there's the following line of code. The master key. Copy and paste that into the command prompt. Now, where it says input in brackets, replace the text with the name of the image you want upscaled. 
be sure to replace the brackets as well. And then hit enter. And just like that, you've enhanced your image. And as you can see side by side, this upscaling is a huge improvement. It makes the generated pieces much more usable. And that is my process currently for exploring this wild frontier of AI generated art. So here are some of my favorites I've generated so far. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this process video. Is AI generated art real art? Is this going to go Terminator on us? For now, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you next time.